Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Immortal... Immortals? Or Immortal? <laughs> Hold on a second. Immortals Phoenix Rising. There's an S at the end of that. Um, about seven hours in, and I've had a lot of fun with the game so far. In fact, I'm having a lot more fun just wandering the open world and doing what I find, like finding puzzles, challenges, uh, dungeons, combat. You know, I'm having fun just doing random stuff rather than focusing along with the story. And I'm okay with that. Like, I've actually had a good time with the game, and I think I'm going to keep doing that. Maybe tonight I'll do another session of that. i got a couple-hour chill night stream here. I unlocked two new abilities, if I remember correctly. There's the Shield Dash, which I believe when you do that, it's supposed to do, like, some big stun to the enemies. So you basically could end a combo doing that. It does a good stun. And then I also got this new ability, the Charging Hammer Swing. Boom! It's like a giant hammer uppercut. And apparently, again, if you charge this hammer uppercut... It'll stun enemies, even big ones. In fact, it showed that stun the charged one will actually stun the Minotaur. So that's cool. So I'm going to try out these new abilities tonight and uh, and see how it goes. All right. Remember, I had upgraded a bunch of my equipment as well. So I should be... Yeah, I got more health now. I have more stamina now. Potions are going to be more potent. Like, everything. It's like everything has been improved. All right. So let us see what I want to do tonight. Now, immediately I saw that there was a chest down below. Actually, hold on a second. There's a guarded chest and a chest here. So I think I'll do those two first. Then I'll turn north. And I'll run up here and maybe I'll do this chest. And then I'll start heading into this area and see what this stuff is. And as we head north and I do all this stuff, then we can actually head to the next part of the game, which is called Bolt from the Blue. Lightning struck a majestic bird and sent it spiraling off a cliff. So we can reach the fallen bird and see what happens. Sounds good. All right. I think we're gonna we're gonna do that first. So wait a minute, I didn't, I didn't mark it properly here. We're gonna do the stuff to the south of the tower first. Epic chest, and over here there's a guarded chest. We're gonna do those two first. All right, here we go. Ready? We're gonna do a nice running jump off the edge here. Where is it? I put. What's weird is I marked it, but I don't see it below me. Like, you didn't really mark it on the map below me. It's just kind of a generic waypoint, I guess. What is it? Ooh, wait a minute. Is there something directly down there? Hold on. Yes, there's something here. Okay, let's see what this is. Have I done this already? I might have done this already. Hold on. It might be uh, a chest that I've already gotten. No, in fact, this is the chest. I'm right on top of it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what I can do here. Let's go down and fight because I want to try out my new combat abilities. Okay, let's try this, ready? So that was the hammer slam, and he also has the hammer uppercut to charge it all the way, which I didn't do there. Oh, he's keeping me with the eyeball. Let's try this. Superpower charge. Come here. Nice, dude. That's cool. Knocked him way back. I'm out of stamina. So this might be a problem. The reason being, you saw I ran out of stamina. So I have cool abilities, but if I run out of stamina, I'm really cool. That's not going to be good. There we go. Nice. So I've activated one. I have to find another one, I guess. You would think it would be like up here, over here. Scotty's somewhere nearby. It wouldn't be far away or anything, right? Let's see here. There's a rock right there. You don't think it'll be on top of that, do you? No, I don't think so. Uh, huh. Where the heck is it? Well, I got a mushroom. Oh! Look at that! It's right over here near the mushroom. Okay. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's see what's in the epic chest. Oh, oh. Oh, nothing. Here we've got... Okay, I need to put some kind of a rock there. A heavy rock. 
Yeah, something really heavy. I saw a couple rocks outside. Wait, oh, look at this. Maybe this is where you could bring a heavy rock like through the side here or something. Oh. Well, that's not heavy. That's a small rock. I need like a big ass rock. I've seen one over here, I think. Here we go. Alright, I get a shout out to Gunner Hansen. Tip me $2. It says, new Pokemon Snap has finally has a release date. It's going to be April 30th. Hopefully they re-release the original Pokemon Snap from the N64 because it's a fun game. I never played it. So I really don't know anything about Pokemon Snap. So this new one you're telling me is a brand new game. It's not a remake. I was under the impression this was a going to be a remake of that old game. I had no idea this was like a new original game. Well, how am I going to get us through here? Very carefully. Look at that. It popped right through. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh! Well, fudge. I certainly didn't mean to do that. I need more weight. I definitely didn't mean to break it. Son of a bitch. I thought that I could... I guess I could have dropped it instead of thrown it, but I was afraid if I dropped it, it wouldn't get over the barrier. There's got to be more rocks out here. Let's see here. Oh, so thank you, Gunnar Hansen, for a $2 tip. I will update the leaderboard in just a moment. Let's. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Maybe if I don't break this one. <laughs> oh, so King Mike wants to know what I have for dinner. We had our Italian bake, which is rigatoni pasta with, uh, you know, tomatoes and uh, meatballs and cheese and all kinds of stuff. Fresh parsley is good. Italian bake is always a staple that I love. I, always, I like it so much, I always eat two plates and then I'm way too full afterward. Why do I eat that much? But it's good enough that it's worth it. Now, what the... See what I mean? Oh, shit! Come on. Get in there. Get in there, you fucker. It lands on my head instead of... <laughs> See, because you can't jump. When you have this, you can't jump at all. Oh, it, like, bounces backwards. Wait a minute. I got a theory, then. If that's the case, what if I stand here and I face this way? Okay. It still freaking goes forward. Loot, it like... You know what it is? They freaking programmed it. They did. They programmed it so that it, will, it pushes away no matter what. Absolutely they did. Absolutely they did. What? It didn't add any weight at all. That giant rock? This is crazy. There's something weird with the weight mechanic. I guess I need something else. How much weight do I need? <laughs> Alright. Gunner, let me get you on the leaderboard before I forget. This is crazy. How many rocks do I gotta put in here? Originally, I thought it was just pressure. Like a pressure plate based on touching a certain area. But it's definitely not. It's definitely like a, a cumulative weight-based deal now. Ugh. Insomno Tech fan, you likely are not a, a, a longtime viewer. Because he's asking me, have I ever thought of setting up an automatic counter like other streams? Of course. And that's what I would love to do. Here's the problem with that. I get trolls who come in here and they make names that are racist. They tip things and say things that are absolutely disgusting about myself, my family members... It's pretty nasty, some of the stuff that people do. Wow, that didn't work at all. That broke and didn't count. Basically, let me put it this way. If I were to automate it, I would get in trouble because, number one, you'd have constant people putting up disgusting stuff uh, on my stream that I don't want visible to people. And number two, uh, I would basically it would put the control of the stream constantly being derailed in the hands of the trolls. Let's put it that way. Other streamers don't have nearly as many trolls as I do. Other streamers are allowed to do fun things and not be harassed. Not me. Um, it's because there is these crazy army of 
really messed up in the head, mentally messed up people out there who like to hurt me and my family for no reason. There's no valid reason to do it. They just do it. They just do it because they, they can do it. Okay. I'm just going to put a bunch of these rock pieces. Oh, it worked. But then when I jumped off, it wasn't enough. I need to do one more. Yeah, I need to do like one or two more rocks and then we're good. So yeah, it's it really sucks because you're absolutely right. I would love to have everything automated. I absolutely would like that or that leaderboard to automate and I don't have to touch it at all. And that way I I wouldn't get having any mistakes. I wouldn't miss anything. But the truth of the matter is if I did that, people would abuse it constantly and you'd see so much disgusting, racist, nasty shit up there that I just I just can't do it. Um I just can't, you know, I can't put myself at that kind of risk. This is my, my place of business. This is not me just messing around with a silly stream. This is how I make my living. So I have to be able to control what comes into my streams. Um, you know. Oh, Standy Pants, thank you. He tipped me. Okay. So Standy Pants, you did, you did just, uh. You did just tip me. Thank you. Because a couple more tips came in. Uh, Germ Germworm wants me to check to see if his account shows is verified. I will do that. Germworm. Give me one second. I just want to solve this damn puzzle. Missouri Lover's making fun of me. He says, I screwed this up. The room is way more simple than I think. I'm doing this way too complicated, he says. What the frick? It didn't do any weight. How am I doing giant rocks on here? And it's not adding any weight. I don't see any other rocks to put in here. Oh, no, you're shitting me. Oh, come on now. Oh. Wait a minute. Even that didn't work because of the rocks. <laughs> oh, man. So I gotta break all these rocks now because now these rocks are screwing up the puzzle. Wait, now this, what? Now this fell out and I can't pick it up. <laughs> this is utter disaster at this point. Are you kidding me? This is, oh my God. <laughs> How did I fucking screw this up so bad, dude? Wait, it's working right now. Okay, just get out of here now. Quickly, open this chest. <laughs> How in the holy hell did I screw it up that bad? Oh my god. Anyway, so we have a new armor set. It's called... Uh, Love's Embrace. 18% chance to grab an extra ingredient. Nah, that doesn't sound great to me. Right now, my armor is, gonna, is giving me... A health chunk whenever I stun an enemy. That's huge. That's great. Extra extra auto healing during combat. So I'm going to stick with that. All right. So Germworm has tipped me and wants me to see if, if his account showing is verified. It's a good question because he's been trying. <laughs> he's seriously been trying to get his account to show is verified for a long time. And it's not showing up for him. So let me check for you, Germworm. Let's check it out here. And, and I'll thank you, Germworm. It was a $5 tip that he gave me here tonight. Let's see. Okay, so five dollars. Let's check this. Let's check this. Yes, Germworm, your account now shows as verified. One hundred percent, you're good to go. Thank you for going that extra mile and doing that, Germworm. I appreciate it. So you would have been the top tipper, however, Standy Pants did tip as well and did tip more than that. So thank you for the five dollar tip, Germworm, and congrats, got it verified. All right. So Stanty Pants tipped me ten dollars, and he says that he's. Uh, what does he say here? Shout out to my 12-year-old Multipoo? A Multipoo? I don't know what that is. It's, I'm assuming it's some kind of a breed of a dog or something. I don't know. Multipoo? He says, Charlotte, uh, I thought I was really, oh, who I thought was really sick till today. She's actually the opposite of sick. I'll use this for Hades. Hope you're enjoying Finizzle Rizzle. All right. So thank you, Standy Pants, for a $10 tip. I'm going to assume that it's like a combination. You know how sometimes they have the uh, the Choweeny and stuff like that? So Multipoo is probably some kind of a uh, maybe a mixed breed dog or something. All right. Anyway, thank you, Stinty Pants. Oops. For the $10 tip. 
It's a Maltese and a Poodle mix, I'm being told. Multipoo. I wonder what that looks like. Interesting. Oh, shit. That's completely incorrect. That's correct. Very nice. Okay, thank you guys for the supports already. I appreciate that. I got I solved one puzzle, and I, I botched it like four times. That, now, Mazora, I love her. You, you rightly razzed the shit out of me. Because all I needed to do is hit the fucking switch. I didn't know there was a switch. I was so stupid. I didn't even look. I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing in all these rocks. And the switch is right there. And then I failed the puzzle anyway. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. Anyway. Over here we have a guarded chest. So we'll have an ability, uh, opportunity, I should say. To try out my new combat abilities in action. Here the, oh, we got multiple big guys. Whoop! Nice, dude. Okay, my, my arrow is doing way more damage now. Look at that. Remember, it was taking like five, six shots to kill that before. Now it's only taking three. Beautiful. Here they come. All right, ready? Oh, I was in the air somehow. I don't know why, but I didn't try to do that. Okay, the hammer slam is very good in a combo. That was cool right there. Oh, he killed his own teammate. He killed his own teammate. Cool. Oh, no, you don't. Come here. Slam, slam, slam a little. Goodbye. Nice. Now we can fight the big dude. Ready? Ultimate charge. Boosh. Wow, look how much damage it did to him. That was a third of his health bar. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, he's running away. No, he ripped the tree out of the ground. I didn't even know he could do that. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. Charge and slam. Dude, he's almost dead. I didn't even stun him yet. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm really good now. You know, these combat abilities are great. I just got some golden amber. All right, that's... Dude, my abilities have just made me, like, twice as good as I used to be. I can now do big-ass combos to these dudes. Yeah, right. Missouri Lover says, Oh, it just shows that you're uh, you're smarter than the devs. That's what it is. Yeah, right. It shows I'm the least observant fucking dude on Earth. I didn't even look around. Ooh, a new weapon. The Departed Shade Sword? I, it's my first new sword, right? All right, so... 30% damage for 6 seconds on a perfect dodge. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Because I perfect dodge a lot. And that gives you 6 whole seconds, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. In this case, see, this is only when your health is full. If I get hit, that's it. No more no more bonus damage. In this case, getting that... Just dodge once, perfect dodge, and then bonus damage for 6 seconds. That's excellent. So... Orcs or Dorks 7, I subscribed to the channel uh, for 42 months and says, hey guys, let's go. Orcs or Dorks, thank you so much for the insanely long support. Like, seriously, that's really nice of you. I appreciate that very much. It's also good to see you tonight. I hope you're having a good night. All right. Um, I think that's going to be it for this area. Grab some mushrooms. Just for the sake of it, real quick, I'll look around. But I'm pretty sure I covered pretty much everything in this area. Pretty thoroughly. I think we might... We could head that way. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Or we could head north. And that's where the bird... I think I want to head north. And do all this stuff along the way. And do, go where that, that bird is. Bolt from the blue. Reach the fallen bird. This stuff is way off into the distance. So I'm nowhere near that stuff. So I think the closest thing would be... Let's see. Actually, I should open up the world map. When's the last time I had Pizza Hut? Oh, man. Um, Nathan Tools asked that. I would say it was about mid-2020. One day out of the blue, my wife says she has a craving for Pizza Hut. And it like we were talking about it, and we got a stuffed crust pizza. Okay, now I haven't ordered a stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut since I did that on DSP Tries It many years ago. I don't usually eat Pizza Hut because I think it's greasy and gross. But for, for just for, for the hell of it, for once, we said, let's get it. We regretted it so much. We ate it. We ate it. And it was so greasy and disgusting. 
that after we yes. ate it, we felt like sick. We did. We were like, this is gross. And we did not eat the leftovers. We threw them out because they were disgusting. <laughs> so it's been, you know, it was you know, about middle of 2020 and it was a big thing we regret. And we, we joke about it all the time now. Hey, let's order a pizza. Let's get Pizza Hut. And of course, we're not going to do that. It was so nasty. We're definitely not going to be getting Pizza Hut anytime soon for any reason. Yes, King Michael, I had meatball subs before. In fact, uh, recently, Kat and I ordered Quiznos for delivery, and she got the meatball sub and absolutely loved their meatball sub. She thought it was crazy good. I've never had the Quiznos meatball sub uh, because my mom used to make homemade meatball subs, so that's kind of <laughs> kind of what I'm used to. Yeah, she would actually hand make the meatballs from scratch. And hello. I hope you can get, like, like special shots or something. Like, it would be cool if you get, like, sniper shots that'll, like, shoot real fast instantly and do tons of damage. Boop. Fuck you. Let's just kill this other one now. Slowly it comes, and then it'll boop right in the face. I love that. It's coming for you, and all you gotta do is move, but you're stupid, so you stand still and right in the face. Let me get a little bit of stamina back, then I can kill this guy with the final arrow. Nope. Ah, oh, shit, I had to jump to dodge it, and of course, now I lose my stamina. I guess I could just do this. <laughs> Instead of doing the, the stamina draining move, I could just walk slowly to the side. It's very slow and effective. Okay. And I walk here, and I jump, and I say, He hit me? What? Who's he hitting me with that animation? That was weird. A critical registration, when you first started gaming for YouTube, did you beat most of the games in one sitting? Not in one sitting, no. Um, when I first started doing videos for YouTube, I that wasn't my job. So I only was able to play games for roughly maybe two to three hours a night. I would come home from my job and then I would play the games for two to three hours a night and I would upload whatever I played. Usually it was only about two hours of gameplay that I could do in one night. There were some exceptions where maybe I stayed up late, but for the weekend I was working the next day or whatever, and I would do like extended play sessions at night. Dude, this ability is sick! Oh my god! It just insta-kills these little minion dudes. Holy shit, that's awesome. But anyway, no, when I first started, it would probably be about roughly two hours of gameplay a night. And then it, it gradually grew to be more and more over time. Um, in fact, I started taking, like, my day off of work. I took a vacation day to play Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> that was, like, I took an actual day off to play a video game. I never did anything like that. All right, I need to find a rock or something to push in there. See this? Maybe I can open this and the rocks will come falling down. <laughs> Is there a switch or something I can hit to make that happen? Hmm. If not, I'm gonna have to go find rocks and bring them here, but I get the feeling... Oh, here we go. Look at this. Yeah, some items. Nothing special. Olympian figs. See, it looks like there's a way to get this to open. Oh, shit. I broke the rocks. All right, that's not good. Hmm. Same thing here. I need to get those rocks to fall in. Is there a pressure plate or something I can stand on that that will open one of these and I shoot an arrow or something? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. It looks to me like you need to stand on some kind of a pressure plate and then the gate will open. And the rocks come tumbling out, and then they hit down the switch there, and then you can go press the switches. But I don't see, like, a plate or anything that, that, that that's the case. Unless maybe it's the top. Maybe it's the very top of these towers. Right? Maybe if I scale the whole thing. Or behind it, maybe. No, there's nothing up here. I don't see anything on the other one either. Huh. This game of Breath of the Wild? That's tough to say. They're so similar. And... Oh, what's this? Okay, could this be for a flaming arrow? Perhaps? But where would I want that flaming arrow to hit? Is there a brazier around here that's not lit? And maybe if I light the brazier, that's what opens the gate? Uh... uh no. 
<laughs> How do I get this gate open? Come on, man. What's going on here? Do I call them subs, hoagies, or grinders? My mom always called them grinders. I would call it either a grinder or uh, a sub. I would never call it a hoagie. And then I heard that terminology later on. I heard things, uh, sandwiches being called hoagies. Man, you know, I'm just going to go get rocks and put them in here. I don't know what else to do. I, I, I don't see how to open this gate. I don't see a way to trigger the gate to open. I don't see anywhere you could break. And I'm just stumping myself with stupid. I can just bring a rock over here and do this puzzle that way. Rather than just waste time, which is what I'm doing now. Okay. Um, let's see here. Gunnar Hansen tipped me $1.50. and says, are you going to check out the new WandaVision on Disney Plus show? Maybe. I might. I don't know. It depends on how interesting it is. I'll see if what people say about it. And if they say it's it's good, you know. It's cool they got the actors from the movies. Because a lot of these times when they do TV shows, they don't get the same actors. Yeah. <clears throat> it's completely, like, lower quality than if you went, went and saw a Marvel movie. But it seems like this is actually going to be pretty much on par with the quality of Mar a Marvel movie. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see here. Critical Red Shear said, this may be a little off topic. Do you think astrology is a load of shit or do you resonate with it? Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in superstition stuff. So, no, I don't believe that someone out there can read the stars and the stars are going to tell you like critical information about your life that just sounds ridiculous to me <laughs> it just sounds so preposterous to me and that someone would believe that too is just like all right one down how do i get out there we go Okay, now I just gotta go get another rock from up there, because there was a bunch up there. Oh, uh, let's see here. Timbo Slice did a 500-bit cheer to become the top cheer of the night. Thank you, Timbo. Let me get you up on the leaderboard there. Hold on. Sorry, Super Blind Man, you've been unseated. Um... Voice in the back of my head here said, what was for dinner tonight, boss? I already explained it was uh, the uh, Italian bake that we usually do. Um, voice in the back of my head now here says, trolls should stop accepting some weird alternate reality and accept what I say is truth. Yes, that is correct. Because whenever I say they make something up to say that it's false. Like earlier today, I finished up my stream and I'm uploading videos and the like, okay? And... As I'm finishing uploading the videos, I just happen to glance upon my stream chat. And, of course, everyone's talking about how Phil never stays after hours or whatever. And he'll never see their discussion or whatever. And someone in the stream chat says, and I quote, You know, I think that Phil's lying and really he hates his life. And he's just going to snap one day because he's stuck in this life that he really hates. Despite the fact that on streams he tells us this is the best time of his life and he really loves everything about his life. I think he's completely full of it. This is, you know, it's just a big facade and everything. And I'm reading this and I'm like, what is wrong with people? Like, why are people, like, so desperate for something to, like, not be good? Or, you know what I mean? Like, it seems to me like they're just, they, they want drama. They want suffering. They, wa they think that that is, like, the better, rather than say, oh, Phil's just really happy with his life, like he says on his streams. Oh, shit. I didn't even do anything. It did it itself. It landed perfectly. Wow. Anyway. I I tell you guys, listen. I'm happy. I really am happy with my life right now. If I could have my life stay as it is right now, I'd be very happy. I don't ever want to have to move. I, you know, I love living my, the life I have with my wife, my cat Jasper. You know, everything right now is very nice the way it is. And I mean that. Like, I don't need anything more than what I have right now. If I could just keep what I have and stay like this for the rest of my life... I'd be perfectly happy. If anything, the one thing I would definitely like is a little bit more flexibility in my schedule to be able to take a little bit more time off to spend with my family. And of course, once fucking COVID blows over, to be able to actually do something like go on a honeymoon with my wife. You know what I mean? Like, that would be very nice. But I'm not looking 
for anything extravagant in this life. I like everything I have as it is, and I'm not looking for anything more. I'm satisfied. That's how things are. People can't believe that. You know why? Because I hate to say it, because the people who can't believe that are the people who are miserable with their own lives. They're not happy, so they can't possibly believe that I could be happy. You know? They you know it, it could be a jealousy thing. It could just be a thing that they've never been happy, and so they don't they don't fathom how it is to be happy. I'm very happy with my life. I seriously am. I'm not making it up to put on a facade for the streams. Like, I'm super duper happy right now. Every day I get to come play awesome games with, with a viewing audience that wants to interact and have a good time and supports my efforts to do what I love. I have a loving wife who's the best person I've ever known who loves me more than I feel anyone ever has. And we have one of the best, you know, the best relationship I've ever had in my entire life. And it just gets better and better with time. It seriously does. Um... I'm, you know, I have an awesome pet with Jasper. I have a great a home that I live in. Like, I'm pleased with everything. I couldn't, I don't even know what I, else I would really ask for outside of maybe more time. Like I said, with, with my family, that's about it. And maybe going to be able to go on a vacation from time to time. So, that's what I mean. But then I look at the chat and it's like, oh, you know, Phil, he just, he's full of it. He's got to be lying and stuff. It's like, why, why do you even think like that? I can't even fathom what makes someone think like that. That someone tells you they're happy, you should be happy for them. You should be like, I'm glad that Phil's happy. That so that that you know, here's someone who I watch on the internet, and unlike a lot of other people who, you know, say they're not happy with how things are going in their lives, he's able to actually say that he's happy. That's an awesome thing. That's something to celebrate. Not oh, you know what? I actually I I hope that he's lying. I hope that that's fake and he's full of shit. Why would you say that? You know, I don't understand that in mentality at all. I just don't get it. Why people are like that? They want negativity for others. They can't they can't be happy for others. They gotta be mad that others are happy or aren't happy or successful. Whatever it might be. Why can't you just be happy for other people, right? Why you gotta be so negative? Boo! Train the nuts! Ow. That was not a perfect dodge. That was a perfect dodge. Now I should get buff light attack damage, I believe. Yeah, I am having it. Yep. Yeah, look at that. My light attack damage is buff when I do perfect dodge. That's excellent. So there you go. Ass whoop. Very nice. Boy, my new combat abilities are good. I'm very pleased with what I chose. A new weapon, the Whirlwind Bow. Okay. Right now I'm using a bow at 33% damage with bow shots while your health is full. We've got Charge Shot will inflict 175 stun and knocks back small enemies. Now I got this new one, 150% charging speed with the bow while in midair. Yeah, but I'm not charging the bow. The thing is, I'm not charging the bow shots at all. So, I don't think I want these. Even though these look nice, I'm not using charged bow shots. I'm just using homing shots. So, I don't think I'm going to use those. Oh, really? Jaggly says the, the volume during the combat flushes out what I'm saying. I'll just have to lower it then. I'll lower it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I don't... I, it's very hard to tell how loud the games are. Particularly now when I'm not even wearing the headphones anymore. I can't tell the volume levels of games anymore. So, just let me know and I'll, I'll adjust it. Thank you, Jaggly's. Okay, um, so I don't know, voices in the back of my head is being stupid, I'm just gonna ignore them. Um, Critical Red cheered and said, in the third year, uh, I'm a third year college student, my major is computer science, what was your major? I started as a computer science major, and I did it for two semesters, and two things happened while I was being a computer science major. The first is, I found out the teacher was terrible, there was only one teacher in the whole school who was teaching the vast majority of computer science classes, and he was an awful teacher. He was one of those guys that he was like a savant. He was really good at coding, but he had no ability to relay that talent to an audience. He didn't know how to teach. He knew how to do, but not how to teach how to do. See what I mean? So here I am sitting in class learning absolutely nothing, and then he would give us a project and be like, okay, here you do it. Like, well, how do I do it? He didn't teach it. And I would have to read the books for myself. It was basically like self-learning. And it was to the point where like I was getting C's and D's in the class. And I'm like, why am I paying, you know, all this money to go to this college and, and basically barely get by because the guy doesn't teach anything? So I was strongly 
debating getting out of the major. And then on top of all that happening, okay? On top of all that happening, I just double killed those bears, which is pretty sick. This ability is so good. Oh, shit. I don't think I want to go down there. Actually, there's stuff down there. You see that? Where am I right now? Oh, shit. That's where the chest is. It's below me. It's just like a lava pool coming out of the volcano area. And there's stuff down there. So I got to go down there. So anyway. Um, yeah, I, I basically said, what am I doing? If I keep doing this, if I keep following this path, I'm going to basically be the worst programmer ever. Like, I'm not going to understand how to do anything. And I'm going to be trying to get a job. And I'm going to fail. Because I never learned anything because this teacher's so bad. And I'm going to have tons of student loan debt. And I've learned nothing. So, basically, I, at the same time that was happening, all right, the tech bubble burst. Because this was the year 2000 and then into 2001. When the tech bubble burst, basically, there were no tech jobs anyway. The whole tech sector collapsed on itself. So, not only would I have gotten a diploma that's worthless because I wouldn't have known what the fuck I was doing, I also, there wouldn't have been any jobs anyway. The whole tech bubble collapsed. So, I stopped going to college for that and eventually I went into general business and then later on, I ended up doing uh, finance as my major. And I've talked about it many times, how I feel that my college experience was a complete ripoff and a waste of time. I really didn't learn much at all that I ever applied to anything that I did for a living. And it was basically just a big scam. But that's my experience. You very well could have a different experience. Mine was not very good. Okay. Thank you, Total Scorn, for a series that Justin Bieber was kicked out of a VIP room for rolling a terrible joint. Okay. Timbo Slice Cheese, if people say what you, what you said has never met that one person that becomes your best friend and you want nothing to do but spend the rest of your life with them. Wait, what? People that say what you said has never met that one person that becomes your best friend and you want nothing to do with soups. Okay. What Timbo is saying is people who say stuff like they don't believe that I'm happy, all right, are people who've never met that special someone that you want to be with forever. You're right. You're right, because that's what it is. You don't understand what it means. Like, once you meet the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, pretty much you're, you're happy, you're content. Like, your life has been fulfilled because that's what you everyone is looking for, really, when you think about it. You're looking for that one person that means so much to you, right, that you're just happy forever. And that's what I have right now. And that's why, I mean, like, I don't need anything else. I just want to be with Kat forever and have a nice life with her. And I would be happy, you know? That's the God's honest truth. And people don't get that because they don't have that. So, Timbo, I think you did hit it right on the head. Okay. Great, I did that. Now what? Oh, there's more than one. Because this is a different chest than the other one I was working on. There's a third one. Because it's funny, people say to me, they say to me, oh, Phil, what's it like to not have any friends? It's like, what are you talking about? I'm married. I have the, the person I want to spend with for the rest of my life, I'm, I get to be with all the time. So I don't care that I don't have any, like, serious friends outside of my life with my wife. I'm happy and content with my life as it is. In fact, I don't even have time for friends outside. I'm here on stream all day long six days a week when do i have time for other relationships right so there you go um hi testosterone jasper cheers thanks for the speech i was having doubts after a five minute rant i'm convinced you're happy well you should be but the bottom line is you're probably one of the people who just is so fucking miserable with your own life you know that uh you're never gonna believe someone who tells you that they're happy like, ah i can't know there's no way someone like Phil could be happy. Someone who has used to have a bigger presence on the internet, and now his presence has dwindled. There's no way he hates his life. I know he hates his life. No, you're wrong. You're dead fucking wrong. Like I told you guys, I like my life now, better now, than ever before now. This is the, the best time of my life is every day that I wake up. And that's an amazing feeling, knowing that. Knowing that right now, I'm the happiest I've ever been, and it continues like that every day, you know? It's pretty damned amazing, to say the least. Um, let's see here. Tch. 
Now voice in the back of my head cheering and said, you can run from me, ignore me, suppress me, but I will be back. Okay. Um. Hi, testosterone Jasper cheers. It's a spoiler in the tech industry. We constantly have to Google things because it's impossible to remember the names of all the functions every language has. <laughs> that's not, that's not shocking. That's seriously not shocking. I, you know, and that's the cool thing about a lot of jobs is that you don't have to, you, you can, you, I don't want to say it's cheating, but you can look stuff up. In fact, it's probably wiser to look stuff up if you're not sure about it, then flub it. You know what I mean? That's probably the smarter thing to do. Ooh, what is this? It's the side of like a tower. Yeah, I don't know how to do this one. This is a chest and I don't know how to do it. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm looking all around it and everything. And I'm not seeing, they're saying it's an epic chest or whatever. Here, I'm gonna unpin it. Can I unpin it? How do I unpin, remove pin, epic chest. I, I don't see the other switches. I only see the one. Ow, I took damage from that? Shit. I only see the one over there that I already hit. I don't see any other switches anywhere. Yeah, it's telling me I've only touched one of three switches. There's nothing down below. I just went that way. I didn't see anything. Unless it's like over here, but that would be... Wouldn't this be going pretty far to find a switch for a puzzle? Usually all the switches are quite close. See, here's a mushroom. It just seems to be like this is way too far. Yeah, in fact, it's so far... I'm finding other puzzles. That's the puzzle I solved, right? Hold on. That's the puzzle I've already solved. Oh, no, it's not. That's something else. Dude, there's so much over here. This is something else. There's ambrosia over there. Oh, my God. This is wild. Oh god, a bird flew by. See, there's another puzzle over here. It's completely different. Come on. Come on, let me locate this thing. There we go. There's a chest in there, and that's that's a different one. Wow, because it's a completely different puzzle. <laughs> We're getting close to the bird, actually. Um, okay, so here I just need three light weights of some sort to put on here. The weird thing about that is over here, it looks like there's, like, some fences. See this? Oh, look! Well, there's two light weights. What is in there? There's stuff in there, but I don't know what that is. I see two two rocks, so I can use these, I guess. But I'm going to need a third. <clears throat> oh, son of a bitch. Just drop it straight. Oh my god, he doesn't drop anything straight. He always drops everything to the side like that. You notice that? I gotta get used to that, because normally I was just gonna drop it right down on his feet. No, he just drop he like tosses it to the side. I'm gonna be a rock short. I'll have to find another one around here somewhere. Hmm. That's right, you can pull objects with L1 and triangle. Thank you, Missouri Lover. I remember that. Are there any objects I can pull? No. Shit! I need one more rock. Oh, there's some rocks over there. I see some. So now what I need to... What the hell? Oh, that's one of those things that, that boosts you up to get you out of here. Um, I need to throw this over there and hopefully it doesn't break. Fuck. Because you can't hover with this. God 
God damn it! Ah! It broke. Now what do I do? Ugh. Shit! <laughs> anyway, uh, some shout outs here. Ace H here, so I can relate to your story about computer science. I tried to major in computer science. The professor for introductory class didn't teach at all. When I went to the first test, he gave me a pencil and paper and told me to build a Pac-Man game. After a couple of tries, I dropped the course and majored in something that made me happier. He told you to make a whole game? What? Ace, what are you talking about? Really? I don't know if I believe that. He told you to make an entire game for a test? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> that doesn't sound right to me. Uh, maybe you can elaborate. I, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure a teacher would not tell you to make an entire game for a test. Okay. Um, Tech Bubble Burst cheers. I'm happy for you, but just because you're married doesn't mean you can't have friends. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm definitely not saying that. I didn't say because you're married you can't have friends. What I'm saying is I'm happy. I am happy being who I am, having the life that I have. I don't need to have anything outside of that. I'm not looking for anything beyond what I have. I'm very happy right now. With, with my life. So when people say to me, oh, isn't it sad or pathetic that Phil doesn't have friends outside of, of you know, his life there, his marriage? The answer is no. It's not sad. I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with my life. I don't have time for anything else. I don't want anything else. In fact, I want more time to spend with my wife. I want less time to do other shit and more time to spend with my wife, you know? Uh, Ninstar Rune Cheery says, what computer science courses did you take? I went to in taking Java without knowing programming, so I transferred down to 101 where they taught basic, but they also basically taught you what a computer is and where you can find Microsoft Word. I was like, how do you function without knowing how to use a computer unless you're some obstinate boomer who refused to learn the back of the 90s? No, I, I, I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm, tr honestly, I'm trying to remember. Um, and I know there was Java. I don't think the whole class was Java. But I think that was a portion of the class was learning Java. Um, and there was another one. There was two different languages that I was learning. I know that for a fact. It wasn't just one. It was two separate languages. This is not going to work. How am I supposed to get a rock over there? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. And I'm not afraid to say, to tell you that I don't know. All right? I'm not afraid to say that I don't know something. And the truth is, right now, I don't know. I don't know how to get this rock over there. I don't. Maybe if I put it down here and I jump across. Okay. And I pull. And then I walk up here. Okay. That's what I'm supposed to do. It. Oh. I just figured it out. <clears throat> I just figured it out. As soon as I said that, I figured it out. Um, let me see here. Everything. I'm sorry, Missouri Lover. What you said scrolled off the screen so quickly, I couldn't read it. I know you said something that you were agreeing with me, but I couldn't even see it, man. This is what happens with the chat sometimes. All right, now I can go do this. And there's my chest. I gotta blow my nose. My nose is bothering me. Give me a second, guys. My stupid nose is bothering me. Ugh. Let's see here. Um, 
Ace A. Cherry says, no, unfortunately, it's true. He told me to build the code for Patman's movement design. It would be very basic, but it was still overwhelming because he never taught us to build an actual game. That guy sounds like an asshole. Tech Bubble Burst Cherry says, does your wife and friend have friends or family? If not, that's cool. You have e each other. Uh, I don't talk about my wife. And the truth of the matter is, yes, you know, there's things in her life that I'm never going to mention because it's none of your business. It's just not. People, seriously, they take so much information, just little things that I will mention on a stream, and they twist it into nasty shit. I'm, I'm not speaking personally about stuff in my wife's life. If ever she chose to reveal information about her personal life, you know, good for her, but I'm not doing it. That's not That would not be right for me to do, okay? So, you know, God forbid I say something, and then those shitheads, you know, twist it into something that it's not and try to say nasty stuff, I'm not playing that fucking game. So, hell no. I am not talking about my wife's personal stuff at all. <clears throat> no. Stop that right now. Okay. Legendary boss encounter? What? Well, first of all, there's Ambrosia over here. Apparently, I'm near a legendary boss. I don't know where. Maybe above me? It must be above me because I don't think there's going to be a legendary boss in the freaking lava pit, right? So it must be above me somewhere. Yeah. Um. Tech Bubble Burst Cherry said, Comp Science is for nerds. Us finance degrees can pay them to do the work. Oh, my God. Well, I don't feel that way. New Star Room Cherry said, On the topic of colleges, the first one I went to had all sorts of foreign students. My Japanese 101 class was full of Chinese people who never studied. When asked to answer questions, they sat there uncomfortably. Why do people go to college and not put in effort? It's a waste of money. Hey, I was I was always the one who was, uh, you know... I, I knew it, I, I was in college to learn. I knew that I was in college to, to pass those grades, get those grades, and... Some people just don't get that. I guess what it is is a lot of people probably just get free shit. <laughs> so they don't feel the pressure. When, when everything, when you're actually paying for stuff and it's not free, then you actually feel pressure, like, to do well, you know? What is this? It's a harp. Okay. How can I do this? I don't think I can do it. I think... What I think is I need the ability to slow my arrows or control my arrows better. Because then I would be able to hit this and, and immediately have it go up and hit that, that torch behind the wall. But I think that because by default the arrow is too fast. See that? Yeah. What do we got down here? Oh my god, look at this. This goes all the way down, and there's a switch down here. What is this? What do you think that just did? Huh. I don't know, but man, that's an interestingly hidden switch right there. Okay, we'll have to find out what this is. Yes, I am still sterilizing my office each week. I did it uh, yesterday morning. Local Nomad did 111 bit cheers. Hello, Phil. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome, Local Nomad. Thank you for the cheer. Tech Bubble Burst cheers. I think the no friends thing is stupid. Just look at the chat. You have tons of friends like Derek and Music Records. The thing is, I mean, are you guys close personal friends of mine? No. Are we acquaintances? Of course we are, especially the regulars who come to the streams. Right? We have We have fun conversation every day. So what did the, the switch do that I hit? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know what the switch did. Yeah, it seems like... It definitely seems like I need to go from a torch. Well, wait a minute. Let me think about this for a second. Maybe I can just... Oh, look! What the hell? Look at this thing. There's three switches I need to hit. Maybe. Okay, I got an idea. Well, that was stupid. That was a bad idea. What well, I was going to say is maybe I can hit a different torch. Oh, 
my god. Ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't control it. You're supposed to slow it down, I think. You need to shoot it and then slow down the arrow and have it go hit that, and I can't do that. Okay. Fuck. It turns so wide that, like, it's impossible to get it to turn around. Oh shit, it made it in there, but I missed the <laughs> I missed the torch. The torch is in there, I completely missed it. I just needed to hit the torch. I had it too. That's how you gotta do it, but I need to hit the torch. I can't see where the torch is. Shit. Oh shit, too far. Ah, oh, hit him in the nuts. <laughs> I almost had it. I almost had him. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, so close. It's right there. So close. Ah. Timbal Slice Cheers, I realize Hitman 3 comes out next week. What a great way to start a new streaming week with an anticipated game. That is correct. It comes out on Wednesday, which is such a weird day for a new release. But yeah, I'll be playing it on release day. When I come back from my day off next week, it's Hitman time. Where is it? I can't see it. Shit. I'm just going to have to go in low. Let me see something here. It's right there. Okay, so if I go in low, I should be able to hit it. All right. This is getting ridiculous now. You really need the slow down arrow to do this, but I'm doing it without it, which makes it incredibly difficult. What the? Where the fuck was it? Wait a minute now. This is getting ridiculous. I see. So what happened is it, go, it went at this angle and missed. I have to hook it right. See that? It's going to have to come in here. I'm going to have to hook it right like this. Like, 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 oh, God, that's going to be hard. Let me try it from here. Fuck, I'm so close. Okay, you see that? That's how I have to do it. I'm going to have to have it come in low. And then hook it extreme right. And then I'll hit it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous puzzle. And this is only like the second part of it. There's a third part of it I have to figure out. There's a third switch right there. How do I hit it? There's a hole above. There's a hole above it. You can't, I don't know how to open it. Maybe that's what opens the gate here. Maybe when I hit that torch, it opens the gate. Maybe. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, ready? Equilibrium says hello. Hello, Equilibrium. How you doing, Equilibrium? Oh, my God. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if you could turn fast enough to hit it. I really don't know. Ugh, I'm getting frustrated now. I really think you need the slow down arrow to do this. I don't think I can make the... I don't think I can get it in that from this angle. And hit that torch like that. I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. Unless I do... Ugh, shit, I wanted to cut it really hard around the back of the statue.
No, no, shit, so close. So close, but if you shoot it around the back of the statue, I don't think it makes it. Ah. Uh. Oh. Well, shit. Fluttershy, the puzzles are very Zelda-esque. Absolutely, these are Zelda-esque puzzles. Oh, come on. Now I can't even get the first part. This is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I did it. Okay, so what did that do? Oh, look. Oh. Okay. So that's switch number two. How on earth do I reach switch number three? Right? It's right in here. This is how I got one of the switches. I went all the way down. Switch number three is in here. See it? But I don't know how to get in there. What I'm seeing is there's a gate. Uh, see it right here? And I don't know... I don't know how to get through this gate. What does that switch represent? It says if there's a... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. I see what it is. Look at this. I think that just might have done it. Yup. Nice. So what is this? I don't even know what this is. Look at this thing. Uh... Is this an optional challenge dungeon? It is, isn't it? This whole thing just to go into an optional dungeon. Oh my god. Yo, that was complicated. For just one optional dungeon? This better be the hell of a dungeon. This better be giving like a big, big, big good reward for doing all that just to get to it. Alright. Um... Critical Red Chitty says, Phil, have you heard of the Rain City Superheroes, a real-life superhero group that go around protecting Seattle? No. So this is only a one-star chat or a one-level challenge. It's supposed to be pretty simple. Hello, Equilibrium. Yes, you already said hello. Now look what happened, Equilibrium. Look what you did. Come on, Equilibrium. You can't be doing that. You can't distract me, man. <laughs> 